So a lot of people, when they think about pot pie, they think it's time consuming, too many ingredients, there's no way that I'm gonna be able to get that on the table in under 30 minutes. Friends, I am here to tell you that absolutely you can get a pot pie on your table in under 30 minutes. It's super fast, my recipe is super quick, it's amazing if I can toot my own horn for just two seconds. My kids love it, they ask for it all the time. And so tonight, that is what I am putting on the table. This is what we are going to need for our pot pie. Um, sorry, the lighting is a little bit dark over here just because the sun's going down. But we have got a beaten egg over here. We're gonna need flour, onions, sage, oregano, and uh, what was the other thing? Shoot, I just forgot, paprika. Uh, garlic, black pepper, chicken stock, uh, avocado oil, or you can use EVOO. Um, just a frozen bag of mixed vegetables. You can do peas and carrots. I do peas, carrots, and corn. A um, pie shell, and then the other one over here to go across the top. And then I am doing veggie style tonight just because Chloe is eating it uh, and she is vegetarian. So I've done both, chicken the regular way or chicken the veggie way, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I season it all the same, so it will help you guys to see um, how to season your chicken. Just know that if you're not doing veggie style, yours will be real chicken. What I wanted to show you first was how I do my pie crust. Um, and what I mean is how I do this little edge right around here. It is super, super easy and it will make you look like a rock star in the kitchen. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna stick two fingers back behind your pie crust and with a little bit of a gap and then you're just going to poke right in the middle of your two fingers and then move it over. You're gonna stick one finger back behind where the other one was, and then you're just gonna keep going all the way down. So you're always putting one finger back where your other finger was, if that makes any sense at all. So see right here where I have made that indention with my, with my um, I guess middle finger. Then you're gonna move that over, you're gonna put your pointer finger where your middle finger was, and then you're gonna just do it again. I'm all about looking impressive and not having to like do a lot to get there. Um, and then all I did with this is I just sprayed it with coconut oil or baking spray, whatever you wanna spray yours with. And so this is all ready until we are finished with the mixture. I'm gonna turn my heat on medium. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just do two circles of my avocado oil. You guys can do avocado, EVOO, whatever suits you. And I'm just gonna let that get hot for just a couple minutes there. I'm just gonna kinda coat that all around. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put my chicken in there. And let that simmer for just a couple seconds or a minute. I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of sage, a half a teaspoon of paprika, and a fourth a teaspoon of oregano, a fourth a teaspoon of pepper, and just a few shakes of salt. And you're gonna go ahead and just get all of these coated. This is such a fast recipe, so easy. You can totally have this on the table in 30 minutes. This part right here takes me no more than 10, and then it takes 20 minutes to bake. 
Because really, everything is already cooked for the most part. You're basically just baking your show. You're going to go ahead and add your onions. Now, I put one cup of onions in. To some, that might seem like a lot. We enjoy onions at our house. Um, so for us, it's perfect, but you could always do a half a cup or three-fourths a cup if that sounds like that might be a little overkill for your family. And let that cook out. going to do a cup and a half of our frozen vegetables. And just cook those in until they look like they're, you know, at least half thawed. Until they start to get a little bit brighter. Not as frosty looking. And I'm going to add I've got my half teaspoon here, but really I'm adding one teaspoon of garlic. And once that is done cooking down, you're gonna add two tablespoons of flour. And you're just gonna get everything coated in the flour. And this is just gonna help thicken everything once you put your chicken stock in. And you're gonna add your two cups of chicken broth. And you're gonna go ahead and raise your heat. And you're gonna let this simmer until it starts to thicken. And once that comes to a boil, you're gonna pour in one cup of cream. I use heavy whipping cream. And once that has cooked for just a couple of minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and turn my heat off. We will transfer it to our pie pan. I like to transfer mine just using a ladle just because then if I have extra I'm not totally you know overflowing um, and run the risk of just getting it all over everywhere so I like to do it this way that way also I can kind of judge my soup versus my meat and kind of drain out some of the soup if I end up having um, too much versus, you know, my meat and vegetables. I'm gonna go ahead and get my slotted spoon and just kind of get the last of all my vegetables and then I will top it off with um, the liquid part. And the last thing is to add the top of our pie. And then this, I just do the exact same thing on the top.
And then I just take my baster and my eggs, just uh, one beaten egg, and I'm just going to lightly put that over the top. And my camera cut off, so I don't know what you guys saw and what you didn't see, but I went ahead and just made three slits in the top of my pie crust right before I did this. So you just wanna get on top of the pie crust as much as you can, even on the edges. And you don't wanna put a ton, you don't want scrambled eggs on top of your pie. And so that is it. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this to the oven. Um, we're gonna be on 400 degrees for 20 minutes. I go ahead and put mine on a cookie sheet with parchment paper. That way, if it kind of bubbles over, I'm not left with a big mess to have to clean up in my oven. If you guys enjoyed this video I would love it if you would just give it a thumbs up down below that just helps me know what kind of content you guys want to see and that you would like to see more of me um, cooking in the kitchen cleaning in the kitchen anything surrounding the kitchen also if you are not subscribed click on that subscribe button down below we would love it if you would join our community here on YouTube we have a lot of fun I do a lot of videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you will find me here, and I would just love it if you were here too. Also, I post the first comment of um, each uploaded video over on Instagram on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays as well. So if you wanna see what I do on the daily, Instagram is a place to find me where you can just kinda of see me outside of an edited video. Until next time, friends, I just encourage you to intentionally create a life that you absolutely love living and will not need a vacation from. I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.